which of the which of the equations gives the length of the curve for y equals natural log of <clears throat> eight of eight x for one is less than x less than or equal to four. Okay, so we got two things going on here. First, we need to know the um, arc length formula, and the second thing is we need to know the derivative of natural log. So I'm going to start with the natural with the um, arc length formula. So you have a um, axis like this, you have some sort of arc, and you want to find the length of whoop, whoop, this segment right here. So the mnemonic that I use to remember this is the idea is you're going to do dx squared plus dy squared square rooted because that's the um, hypotenuse along this le this length here. And you're like, well, that's not perfect. It's like, well, no, it's not. But if you take dy and dx to be pretty small, delta x, delta y, to be pretty small, you get pretty close. And once you get infinitely small, you get infinitely close, which is infinitely accurate, which is eh, pretty close to correct. And the idea is we're going to integrate that from the start to the end. Well, when we simplify this, we can do something like dx squared times the square root of 1 plus delta y delta x squared squared, that's an x, square rooted, still integral, integrated, integrated. Um, this would then just go to delta x, and so you get something along the lines of 1 plus dy dx quantity squared, square rooted, dx. And I converted the delta x to a dx. Um, and then we'll do this from beginning x value to the final x value. Because we're integrating with respect to x, right here, it shows that our limits of integration are going to be with respect to x. So I'll start with the first x and go to the last x. And this is the formula for um, integrating with, for an arc length. Now this isn't a, um, a formal proof, but it's a pretty good mnemonic that kind of sort of follows the idea of the way it actually is done. And it's a good way of remembering the formula. And it intuitively kind of makes sense as well. Okay, so now we have our formula, which, yeah, okay, it kind of looks like it fits in. We want to find, we need to find dy dx. So dy, let's see, y equals natural log of 8x, right there. And then if we take the derivative of such, we have dy dx equals, okay. So this is going to be the chain rule. The derivative of um, natural log of x is 1 over x. So chain rule, write it down over here f of g of x equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So our f of x here will be natural log of x, and the derivative of that will be um, 1 over x. And so what we get is 1 over 8x times the derivative of the interior, which is derivative of 8 uh, derivative of 8x, which will be 8. The 8s cancel, and we're left with 1 over x. And this is kind of a unique thing that you'll see a lot of times with natural logs, and it's good to just kind of expect this. So if you have the derivative of, let's say, natural log of 6x, that'll be 1 over x. Uh, dy dx. Eh, yep. Eh, there we go. Derivative respect to x of natural log of I don't know, 5x will also, also be 1 over x. And you can say the same thing with pretty much anything that's times x. Natural log of 10x, natural log of 2x, etc. And the reason that is, is because the, uh, the chain rule. You get a 5x in the bottom, but that's canceled with a 5 on the top. 10x in the bottom, canceled by 10 on top. And so you get this 1 over x. So the fact that there is an 8x here 
is the same as if there was just natural log of x. So that 8 is pretty much relevant. So if we look over here, we know that we want it to be of this form here with 1 plus um, uh, dy dx squared, which is this right here. Another thing to note is 1 over x squared is the same as 1 over x quantity squared, because you just squid, squid the top and the bottom. And 1 squared is just 1. So you go from 1 to 4, and 1 plus 1 over x squared, and this will be the right answer. Looking at the others, nope, needs a square root. I uh, need to take the derivative. Need a square root. And that one doesn't even make sense. So right here, oop, right here, that'll be the answer.